Hey guys, these are the ingredients we're gonna be using today. We got shrimp, some seasonings, uh, corn, lime, red onion, red pepper, yogurt, and parsley. We're gonna start with our corn. Today we're gonna be making a lovely corn succotash with some barbecue lime grilled shrimp. So first we're gonna husk that corn, get all that off of that, and then grab a bowl and throw your corn in there. Once you have got your corn in there, get your knife out and start getting the nibs off of the actual cob because you're not gonna need the cup for this recipe. Put those aside and then start working on your bell pepper. I'm gonna use a paring knife to go in next to the nib and then just cut in a circular motion around it so that it's easy to just pull out. I'm gonna slice that pepper in half and then just use half for this recipe. Slice it lengthwise to get nice little strips and then turn it and cut mince to make it nice, small, fine pieces. And then scooch that out of the way and then we're going to work on our red onion. We're going to cut that directly in half, cut the top off and then peel back the extra skin. We're not going to need that. Then we're going to start scoring our onion just lengthwise, not really scoring but following through and then chop so you get nice little minced pieces. We're going to do about a quarter of a red onion today, scooch that aside and then grab a little bit of garlic out. I know I didn't mention this earlier, but we always put garlic in whatever we make here. Mince that up fine, nice tiny little pieces, and scooch that aside as well. Now we're going to get our pan ready. Kick that fire on and throw your pan on top of that. We're going to get a bench scraper out to help us, but we're going to give that pan a dash of olive oil. A little more than a dash actually. We're going to grab our vegetables, get them all on that scraper, and then throw them all into the pan. I'm going to just mix that up just a bit and season it with some salt. We we'll let that render down and then we're going to start working on our shrimp. So we've got some clean, peeled, and deveined shrimp here. And I have this barbecue spice that I've gotten from Israel. There's herbs in there, coriander, uh, chilies, paprika, just a mixture of a bunch of stuff. Now we're going to add a little bit of lime juice to that, just about half worth of, uh, of a lime. Squeeze it in there and then mix it up. Make sure that the seasoning is getting everywhere and scooch that aside. Give your uh, veg a bit of a toss and then get your corn ready to go into the mix. Scooch all that corn out into the whole situation out there. You wanna make sure you're getting it all and then toss it together. Make sure everything is well incorporated. And then we're gonna start working on our seasoning. We've got paprika and chili powder here. We're gonna start with the paprika, hot and smoked a little bit of that on top of there. Then we're gonna grab our chili powder. Look at that. We're gonna scooch a bunch of chili on top of that, give it a nice amount of flavor, and then we're gonna to toss it all together. And then we're gonna flatten it out so the corn has a chance to get a bit of a char on the bottom. Now we're gonna work on some fresh parsley. We're gonna mince that up nice and fresh, including the stems and the leaves. Lovely. Keep mincing down until you've got a nice fine amount of pieces in there. And then just set that aside for when you're ready to get started with it. Now we're gonna grab that second half of lime and we're gonna squeeze that juice directly into the corn mixture. Toss that together. Lovely. Now grab your parsley. This is just for the end. So when your corn is almost done, throw it all in there, toss it up. And then once you're done tossing and incorporating, you can go ahead and shut that fire off. Get your plate out and grab your corn succotash and then just pile it on right in the center. Doesn't that look lovely? Okay, now we're gonna start working on our shrimp. A little more olive oil in the pan grab out our shrimps, put them in a little circular situation so we can keep in mind where the shrimp are when we need to flip them. Just get them all in the pan. Lovely. See that heat kicking on now? Fantastic. And let them go for a little while. Now we're gonna prepare a sauce for the shrimp. We're gonna do a little bit of yogurt with some sumac. Now sumac is a spice made from dried red fruit and lemon. It's got a nice tart, zippy flavor to it. 
I'm gonna put that along with the yogurt just to accentuate the tartness, but also give some, you know, nice, rich flavor. Flip our shrimp when they're ready. And yeah, don't those look good? And you know, let them, let them go for a little longer, but while you're waiting for them to finish, just pat your corn down. Nice and flat. Give a little bit of like a indent in the center. It'll be easier to lay your shrimp on that way. And then grab your shrimp out, one by one. Lay them out onto the plate. Here we go. Fantastic. Now we're gonna get all of that going on our plate, one by one. In a nice little motion. Just all around in a circle. I'm gonna put the last two shrimp in the center, but just for good measure, I'm gonna take one of the outside shrimps and put them in the center as well. It kind of looks better when you have three in the center. Rule of threes, threes always look better. And then we're just gonna dollop a little bit of that yogurt on top of each piece of the shrimp. And that'll be it for today, guys. We have a lovely corn succotash with some barbecue lime grilled shrimp. Delicious. Enjoy. Hey guys, thanks for stopping by today and watching this video on how to make some corn succotash. If you guys want to see anything else, please leave it in the comments below and we will try and cook that for you. But until next time, peace, love, and prosperity.